Okay, so here I am outside with one of my antennas. And as you can see, it is a uh, helical antenna designed to produce right-hand circular polarization. And it's cut for a center frequency of 140 megahertz. And you may ask yourself, why a helical antenna for this type of work? And there are several uh, reasons. Uh, one is that it produces a very clean pattern that is, uh, has broad bandwidth. Most people think, well, I can use a Yagi antenna to do uh, radio astronomy. But if your bandwidth is very wide, most Yagis cannot uh, provide the necessary bandwidth. And they also have uh, antenna patterns which could probably be dirty. And even with the best computer design, Yagis may do very well just at their design frequency, but as soon as they move away from that point, they tend to break down quite a bit, whereas a helical antenna generally doesn't. Also, the simplicity of the helical antenna is another nice feature because it's just simply fed, can be fed using an unbalanced uh, feed, and you can see how I have the first section running close to the ground plane there to provide uh, a match to the, uh, to the coax there. And uh, very simple feed, uh, transition from unbalanced uh, to the antenna uh, is, is easy where, you know, if you had a Yagi, you'd have to have some sort of balance or some sort of pair of active mixers or whatnot. So the, uh, the uh, transition into the coax is shown here on the back side. And this uh, coax runs into this uh, tube right here, which contains a pair of uh, LNAs. These are uh, fed through the through the coax. Uh, five volts DC is going in the coax to feed these guys. And in between the two uh, preamps is a, a BHP uh, 150 and a BLP 150 uh, filter from mini circuits, which are fed, uh, provide, uh, connected in series. And that provides uh, some broad measure of filtering between the first and second stages to clean things up. So that's uh, the first antenna. And another thing is if I step back here, you can see this antenna is pointed about 45 degrees elevation. Good for me to uh, record from the galactic center, which is what uh, some of the data that I'll be showing you later uh, is generated with the antennas in this configuration. And if you look over there in the distance, you can see there's another uh, helical over there. Uh, about 150 meters away, roughly. I can't remember exactly. So uh, it's uh, it's also been moved to point off to the to the north for Cassay and Sagittarius, Cassay and Sigay, which I'll be um, serving later on.